Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's uh, had a great week. I am your host, Kushan, and today I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of the Korean Missile Crisis. Um, so just a couple of things um, before we get too started here is if you watched the last stream, we have gone just a little bit back in time here. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll notice the same thing. Um, the devs actually pushed a, as you'll know, the last time there were, we were having a couple of, kind of a major crash with the Doctrine window. Um, and um, it was causing some crashes and quite a bit of frustration on my part. Well, the devs last week actually pushed a hot fix which act for the Service Release 7, which actually fixed that bug. Um, so what I did is actually, instead of having to go into like the beta and kind of save and you know, do some, you know, work, you know, do some workarounds, um, it's not an issue anymore. So what I did is I actually went back and saved just before we had that last round of issues, which means that the strike aircraft that I had launched are all still sitting on the ground for the most part. We uh, will be relaunching these guys here shortly. Um, so there is that. Um, other than that, the rest of our force... We are still hunting, um, one thing I do want to double check here, I think I had already fixed this, but let's make sure that, okay, so our sub-hunt mission is fixed, it is showing the box, I know there for a little bit it was set to just this corner, so all of our sub-hunters sub were just hovering in that one, that one zone, um, so that's fixed. So other than that, I think we're good. Um, we still have some caliber missiles that are inbound towards some targets. Um, still kind of wish I would have saved my uh, my arm-enabled aircraft, but that's uh, hindsight. Um, so we're going to probably just let this strike kind of here continue um, off the coast. We've got our IL-20M Elant aircraft. Um, we also have our Blinder E still alive. Um, he actually, this particular aircraft actually got shot down the last time um, because I came in low and slow trying to find this this Nodong launcher and still no sign of this this launcher. It's a little frustrating. Um, this uh, if we lose this blinder, this is our last aircraft enabled, or no, this is ECM. Um, Maybe we did, okay, maybe we did actually lose our, our blinder that was armed with cameras. Um, so we actually, if that's the case, then somewhere coming down from the north should be right here. This is our blinder C, except for internal recon, internal, ELENT, and EO. Um, I thought we had a photo enabled. Did we lose that one too? The big problem is that we don't have a whole lot of reconnaissance assets, and so we're just going to, okay, we'll give this blinder C orders to start working its way down towards the ops area. And we're just going to have him go out to max altitude for the time being for the fuel savings. And what else do we have? All right, so we've got some our fencers that are still kind of hanging around over here. Um, this group is RTB for a little fuel. Because the fencers here, we've got another group of fullbacks coming in, and or two groups of fullbacks coming in. Okay. So I think with that, we can go ahead and just hit play here, and um, I do still have the message log up. I have moved it over here onto my second screen. Um, if you guys would like, I can move it back, but I prefer it over there if it's not too much of an issue. Um, I just like having a nice kind of this area clean is all. But if it's too big of an issue on the viewing side, I can easily uh, move it back. Um, what do we have for air-to-air -air assets? Um, okay, so we have 
A group of SU-27s, which cannot aerial refuel. Um, buddy stores, yeah. Fortunately, I don't think the can aerial refuel. Nope. So our SC-27s are kind of operating at the limit of their range. They are going to have to RTB here in about 20 minutes. Um, so we should probably get... Um, don't seem to be... Most of the Korean Air Force seems to be now gone. Um, so what I think I want, we are going to do the last time. Make sure nothing's RT being when they shouldn't be. Okay, so all these guys look like they're. Let's go and switch there. Make sure the doctrine on. These guys is set. MCON. Not sure what I'm doing. Um, weapon state. Just set it to use loadout settings. Okay, so we've got a couple strike aircraft already up. Um, I believe I was actually planning on taking out um, the nuclear storage site, and I think these two production centers over here. Um, but what I think I really want to do, there's the naval base, submarine pen. Um, those are targets. Okay, so we do have MiG-31s taking off. That's good. Let's make sure that... I don't believe our MiG-31 Foxhounds can actually aerial refuel, but... Oh, they don't, nope, they have probe refueling, so that is going to make them a little more useful. Um, let's see, anything else taking off over here? Uh... For let's see how many are actually okay. So only one aircraft in that group is actually airborne. We've got some more coming up here shortly. So what we need to do, I think, is just kind of get down to it and stop kind of you know beating around the bush here and just kind of go for it. Um, so we've got. I'm gonna, for the time being, have to just ignore this 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 launcher. I don't know where it's at. Um, we're not picking up anything on Elant wise on it, although we have picking up a couple units of Triple A. But as far as actually being able to locate it, I'm pretty much giving up that search for the time being. Um, it's probably going to more than likely be targeted on the Americans, you know, South Korea, or Japan over us, so I'm not too concerned about it, although it'll probably be a mission fail. Um, okay, so caliber missiles are hitting. Just took out that Barlock radar. Um, don't suppose caliber missiles can be redirected, can they? Nope. They're still going to just hit a dead target. So then we'll probably take out that SAM probably take out that SAM launcher, so we'll wait till those kind of finish getting uh, removed from the board before we uh, launch any more. These calibers here are probably going to get shot down. I think that's what these... Hello? Let's go and just tell our... Um, what are these guys doing? They should be turning around about now, right? Apparently they don't want to turn around and, uh, alright, so we'll just have to do this the manual way. Um... Alright, 
So let's go ahead and just turn these guys around. Bring weapons into Boresight. All right, so there we go. Now they'll start firing. In fact, we'll just give them orders there that way. So what that should hopefully do is at least get them to not engage our missiles. All right, so we just took out that SA-2 battalion. Probably going to take that one out here shortly. Where's this one targeted on? Yeah, you know, that one's probably not going to hit, but... The chance of these shots actually hitting are pretty slim at the moment. Um... All right, so our IL-20 is actually getting some contacts on Eland. Um, All right, so we do have some other MIGs that look like they are going to start responding to us. So let's go back here. How's the rest of this group and how much are still taking off? All right, so the first group is now airborne. That should be all four of them. All right. So we will send uh, these guys down. They'll begin their climb. Now this group will probably have to pull back at some point. It is getting, well, I guess their fuel's right about up to 50 minutes now, so they must have slowed down. Um, but they, you know, weapon-wise, they look like they're doing okay. <clears throat> Although this may be a bit much for them to deal with. I'm really just trying to distract these guys, so hopefully our calipers can get through. Yeah, see, this one's definitely turning in on our missile. So hopefully our our Alamo here will get into range before. All right, so lost contact with one fish bed. Which was the one right over here. Yeah, this one here is definitely closing is go closing in for probably a gun kill on our missile. All right, took out the SA-2 battalion. Chances are, even if we kill these MiGs, these missiles are still pro well. These ones may hit, but they're still probably going to get shut down. At least this one probably will. I don't see it flying over through that group of MiGs being able to hit that bar lock, but there's always a chance. Um. I wonder if our missile's even going to have the energy to actually hit the target. Yeah, this one's probably going to miss. Missile's low on fuel. Yeah, 
Yep. Missile lost energy. Oh well. Yeah, now it's turning back onto a bearing for our, uh, our caliber. Probably going to go for one of these two. How's the rest of the battle looking up here? Yep, yep missed that MiG-21. How's ammo supply looking? Yeah, running low, but... Um, how's the rest? So we should probably start, I think, while well, that air battle's going on down there. Um, I'm going to, I think, just start launching. Just get everybody airborne. So, launches group. Launches group. As I said at the beginning, I think we just need to kind of go for it here and just kind of get everything airborne. And really just kind of go in all at once. It's probably my own impatience talking, but we shall see. All right, so they're well, they're all grouping up and taking off. Alright, so got another MiG-21, and this one looks like it's finally gonna just let, looks like our missiles are passed. I am a little concerned that this MiG-21 here is closing in for our jammers. So we're gonna order our, our Eland aircraft and our jammer kind of back a little bit. Just in case this missile fa fails to uh, take it out. Um, what do we have for our subs here? What were our subs doing? So this sub was creeping. We did have a goblin contact about a half hour ago. So let's just go... This is battery powered, so let's just go... Periscope death, but we're going to go to flank. And maybe we'll just go to just over the layer. And no, we had another diesel. What were the rest of our subs doing? So this one. All right, so go as deep as possible and go to flank. This one's an Akula, so shouldn't have any of those silly issues with batteries. Um, we've got another Akula up here, who is already going as deep as possible. We'll just change his course. Alright, so picking up a actually incoming missile. Um, Sam, where is it coming from? Oh, right there. 
It's probably this SA2 battalion. Yep, missile. I wonder what it's firing at, though. Yeah, these missiles, this one may, you know, I doubt these three missiles will actually hit their targets. Not with that group of MiG-23s coming at him. Alright, so... What's this? Okay, so manually fire. Dedicate both your out of weapons range. Oh, well, that's why all of our... Huh. Okay, so all of our long-range weapons looks like they are... Uh, difference in altitude. So where, what's our altitude at? We're at 35,000 feet. They're down at, wow, they're really low. That's why we're not firing. Okay, so this, this MiG-21 definitely is going for our, our England aircraft over here. Well, these guys don't seem to be angling in on our on our calibers. That's not what I had expected, to be honest. Aim nine. We're, we're picking up some Amrams and some Aim one twenties, or some Aim one twenties and some Sidewinders being fired. I would bet these are probably growlers, if I had to take a guess. Alright, so we got a little bit of a close-in dogfight going on over here. Alright. Where is our MiG 23s at? Okay, so this one is armed with penetrators. What do we got over here as far as armament? Oh no. Um, what do we have? We've got Glonus. These are just general. So is this nuclear? Okay, so that's a hardened facility. That's a tunnel entrance. Power station. Okay, so what I'll do is I will give our MiGs over here. So 
So, RC 27s, they're there. When they hit this point, they will begin descending down. Um, okay, so fullback fencers are, okay, so our rest of our flights are finally starting to take off now. Why? Okay, so they're so unassigned. Take out that fish bed. In fact, they don't think they can actually take out that fish bed. Um, me 21 closing in from behind. You know, this is a kind of a bad position for them. So the 34 is coming up. Are the this is this whole group airborne now? Yes, they are. Okay. So let's get this group of Megs in down here. One thing I kind of wish this group, this group thing did it, it, is if I wish it would kind of tell you uh, if part of the group was still taking off, what their status was right here next to the composition. Um, how's our... Okay, so they're, they just need RTP. They're... We're probably going to lose our our IL twenty here. What's the range on our surface for? So, picking up some SAM launches. And... All right, so we hit that caliber, or I'm sorry, we hit that SA-5 launcher. Um, how's the rest of them looking? Nah. Wonder where that one's fired off to. Must be going after an American missile. Um, probably gonna lose this caliber. That 23 is closing in. Not sure what this guy's doing. He may be closing in. 